What's up, buddy? Welcome to Real or Fake Live, everybody. Uh, the weekly show from ParanormalWarehouse.com, where we talk about viral paranormal videos and whether they're real, fake, bullshit, fake by mistake, uh, fake as fuck. You tell us. And uh, that's what, about what it. are they usually, Chris? What do you think the uh, like the percentages are here? Um, I think ninety percent of the time they're fake by mistake. You're being kind. I think you're right too. I think you're right. Um, well, I think I think ninety percent of the time we're being kind. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn, cold blooded today. Yeah, you know, you but work, um, yeah. I hope sharks in I the water. It. Yeah, well, I mean, let's be real. Yo, let's be real. Yo, I, I can't believe we didn't talk about this earlier. This is our sixtieth. Oh man, I would episode. Bought, I would have bought balloons today. Nah, you want to celebrate the sixty-first? I guess like, we're gonna have to. All right, sixty, almost a hundred, sort of, sort of. Uh, but thank you everybody for tuning in. Make sure you share with all your paranormal friends right now. Uh, this is an hour show. We're going to talk about some, uh, real or fake paranormal videos, some paranormal trash. Uh, we got a new segment for you tonight. Uh, very we exciting. A, we did a poll. If you follow us on Facebook, we did a poll, uh, whether we think what's more proof of the paranormal orbs or EVP. And we got the results for you and we got some comments for you. So we're going to talk about all that tonight. All that. All that in a sack of potatoes. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? No. Sure, now it is. Now it is. All right, you want to watch the, the previous episode from last week? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so this one is from the 1904 church, and it is uh, a door shutting on its own. There's some weird noises going on. I'll play it, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> So, I'm going to move Bryce's head again. So, as you can see on the bottom, there's some loud bangs. and the bottom left, there's a door. It's hard to see. I didn't really see it at first. Um, it definitely opens and closes twice. Something that didn't happen throughout the night, the entire night. You know, we're, we're watching there pretty frequently. So, what do you, what did you think about it? Well, I said fake by mistake. Now, we've gotten uh, really good evidence from 1904 Church, and but this piece of evidence is a little dicey in the sense that it can easily be a draft of some sort that is moving the door. Right. And I feel like you would have to go in there and be there to debunk this. So my my initial reaction was fake by mistake. Right. I mean, there's just... <clears throat> So many variables that go through, especially when it's moving the door. I mean, the door does sound pretty big. Uh, I don't yeah, know. It's weird. But I feel like even though if the door is big, that doesn't mean that uh, air can't push it. If No, you're right. If, it, if there's another door on the other side, and for some reason that door opens or closes, that's going to push the airflow out to push that door. Right. Are you able to replay it? Some people miss it. Um, yeah, I'll play it again. So if you look at the bottom left-hand corner at that door, right? That's where we're looking? Right. It's happening. Yeah, 
I guess so. so. It, it went yeah. through. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> Usually you mute us, so I didn't know if we were alive or not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go with airflow on this one. Okay. Airflow is the way to go? Is that how airflow they say it? Gus wins. Um, all right. Well, circulation. Uh, well, this upcoming video that I'm about to play, I haven't... So, we've been, like, given videos, or, like, it's, like, something that happened on the live stream. Um, I went back and actually looked through, and to look through and find videos. And I forgot, like, the level of garbage that's out there. Oh, there's a high level of garbage. You know, so... I I really tried to hone in on something that on videos that uh people are real jazzed up about, you know? Yeah. And I found this and, you know, whatever. All right. So we're going to play it. Um but I don't, you know, whatever. All right, here we go. No one see what All right, so that was lickety split. Where's your picture? I don't know, man. Um. All right, looks like we're doing the show with just Mike's face. I mean, where is it? You got my audio? <laughs> as long as you got my audio. Yeah, you're good. You're just looking All right. at me. All right, no great. Uh, um. <laughs> so, all right, so this is in the London Underground, okay? I feel uncomfortable. I'm, I'm disappearing. It's just the video. I don't want to just be up on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and it looks like this person uh, is jumping onto the tracks. Apparently, there are many suicides that happen where people jump in front of trains, which is obviously terrible. But they're kind of like saying this was like a like a blink in time of when someone did this because it was like emotional energy and he died. Uh, but I'm not so sure. Wait, who died? They, they're they just kind of giving it like a general, like a lot of people have jumped in front of trains. Right. So they just think it's like one of those people. Okay. And that's it. Can we Can we maybe assume that it's a homeless person hiding in the subway? I don't even think it's a person, dude. Like, he turns his camera, and the camera's moving. I think it's just a reflection off of the... Off of the thing. The camera. What? The, the figure? Yeah, I mean, I think you're just looking at it as a figure. I think you are like, oh, it's a figure. But anybody, like, other people would just not see anything if you showed them that picture. What are you talking about? What, this thing jumping onto the tracks? Yeah, what are you saying it's a re... How are you saying it's not something walking out onto the track? There's no way there's a physical thing there. So it's either fake or... Well, I, feel like, I feel like we're real off base on this one here. I feel like we're not on the same page. <laughs> so you think that's, a, that you think that's a, a, a person? Well, I feel like there's somebody walking there. No way, dude. It's something... How is the reflection of something? I don't. I, you don't see the guy's feet on the on the ground, dude. No, There's but like, you see like an arm and a torso and a head walking. I think you're just making that. All right, watch the video, dude. Okay, I'm it's going to start over. It's like so quick that this thing appears because I I don't even really see it. But hold on. All right, ready now. See how quick that was. It's not, it's definitely not a person. No, but when they zoom in on it. Yeah, but it just, it just looks like a person. So then what are you saying it is? I think it's just like a lens flare. No way. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. No way. Dude, I, I don't know what to tell you. When they zoom in on it, there's no way that's a lens flare. Yeah, dude, it definitely is. No way. Yes, it is. I'm going to try to bring... Oh, it's just me again. Hold on, I'm going to do something. 
that could mess everything up. Where are you? Why are you not here? Hold on. No. Oh, so you really think that's a person? Yeah, why don't you try dragging my thing in from the top right like you did before? No, nah, this is like, this is Skype. It has nothing to do with the... Oh. Alright, I'm getting a lot of fakes on Facebook. Yeah, what are they saying? But then I Hashtag got one Lens real. Flare. I got skill. Hold on, Lee Grant said real. Charlotte said real-ish. Jerry said there are spirits that look like flesh and blood people. Yeah, I, uh, I George, don't... George says it looks fucking real. Yeah, I don't think it's lens flare, man. If anything, it's somebody on the tracks that shouldn't be there, but... I, I, I would just defend that there is no... Look at how fast the event happens. Are you seeing I it? Yeah, that, but the, the zoom in... What, what is this guy, like the Flash? Just zooming into but, the tunnel? But the close-up of it... Yeah, but anything could no look like a person, bro. Flare. Anything could look like a person. What a debate. What a debate, Chris. This has never happened before. No. And watching this video earlier, I didn't think we were going to have this debate. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't know, man. How do you say that's person? I don't know. I don't know. Because you can legit see an arm hanging out. Yeah, but it, I think it just looks out. like an arm. I don't think it's actually an arm. Chris Smith from Toronto said real. All right, whatever, Chris Smith, okay? <laughs> All right, well, I don't know now. I, yo, I, we're going to actually genuinely have to, like, see. Can, uh, what Charlotte wants to know, can you freeze it on the close-up of the image? No, OBS doesn't let me do that. No. We don't have that technology yet. Yeah. Better enough, Mike lost my picture. Shit. <laughs> I hope you come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> the, the video actually looked good tonight. I know, you nailed it. All right, well, I guess let us know what you think. So I mean, right. I'm, I'm getting more reels than fakes from before. I'm going to say fake by mistake, but I'm going to say, like, Jerry just said real, too. You're I'm going to say, um, Vicky said I was going towards fake, but I'm thinking maybe this might be a real thing going on here. So I'm going to go fake by mistake. I think it's just somebody on the train tracks. Right. I'm gonna like, go. I, don't think, I don't think it's a spirit or some type of monster, but I'm I'm gonna go with oh I'm back. I'm gonna go with um fake by mistake. But I definitely see a figure there. I don't know where you're getting lens flare lens flare from. Well, I'm also gonna go with fake by mistake. And I think it's some shit on the lens. Or like oh, a, a piece of dust or from it it's it's not a whole person. Yeah, but do you see the arm sticking out? I see what looks like an arm. And the head and the torso? Yep, I see all of it. But you're going to go with lens flare. Well, I'm not sure what it is. It could be, I, I just don't think there's an actual person there. At all. Wow. I must say your background is lovely. <laughs> I would also like to say that I've given up on trying to like get all of it in frame. Like, I just don't care. I, don't I mean, care. you did pretty good it's for It's been a, while. a battle for all these years, and I just can't <laughs> take it. I can't take it. This is what's going on. All right. Well, I guess we'll see. We'll see what people say. Uh, a lot of people saying no lens flare, man. I, I'm not saying it's definitely lens flare. I'm saying it's some. It's something with the camera because it just blinks. It's like, yeah, but the close-up. Well, how can you how can you explain the? I don't know. How does a person just appear and disappear instantaneously? It's called, it's called paranormal, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's called fucking paranormal. Oh God! That one made the mom tree chuckle. She's sitting right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. We'll see what people say. It's fine. <laughs> Char Charlotte said Bregs upped his background game. Well, I'm in Pennsylvania at home visiting my parents, so... It is. It's so lovely. You got, like, the lights. I mean, if I was able to move a chair right in front of the fireplace, then you would have all the stockings behind me and everything. Well, you know, did pretty good. He did pretty good. Uh, I, I don't remember what we were going to do. Uh, Breggy News... news?
Yeah, we'll just have to break. Let me pull up the... Do you have them in order, or I gotta... We're gonna play the guessing game again. I definitely do that. Let me say I don't. Is the one, the first one, the assault? Yeah! Let's get into it. Blam! All right, here we go. Breaking news. I'm going to butcher these names. I'm warning everybody now. Just, more yo, just than what change the names. Do. Just change the names. Like you said, I'll you change should. the names. All right. So this article is from PrestonBusinessReview.com. Yeah. Paranormal activity spooks police interrogating mystic accused of hundreds of sexual assaults. Paranormal activity spooks police interrogating mystic accused of hundreds of sexual assaults. A Brazilian medium accused of sexually assaulting over 300 women may or may not have 300? had. 300? 300, man. That is, that is awful. Nick not have had something to do with some very unusual and spooky activity during his police interrogation. A series of unusual events took place during the two-hour interview with J.O. Teixeira de Fiera. Ooh, that was pretty good. Who is known as J.O. De, de, de Hus, John of God, on Sunday night in... J.O. De, de Hus. In Brazil. That's if that's actually uh, how you say it. So this is a quote. Suddenly, the computer that was being used to transcribe the suspect's answers to the allegations seemed to have a life of its own, and the commands on the keyboard wouldn't work. Detective Carla Fernandez uh, told uh, the reporter, yeah. When the clerk tried to enter the medium statement, the keys locked on specific letter and O was recorded continuously on the screen for a few seconds. Police described a number of bizarre instances, instances, including a computer crashing, a printer starting to print pages on its own, and a fridge blowing up. I plugged the, the lead of wow. the air conditioner into an extension shared with a mini fridge, and the electrical wiring suddenly exploded, burning out the fridge. Everyone in the room screamed, screamed with fright, Fernandez said. It wasn't just the interrogation where unusual activity was reported. As the media gathered outside the medium's house before he surrendered on Sunday, rumors spread about evil spirits when a reporter suddenly fell ill. People <sighs> there was some paranormal activity going on there, too. Teixeira denies sexually abusing hundreds of women around the world, including his own daughter, under the pretense of healing through, quote, miracle surgeries. No. He was once interviewed by Oprah. And says he once treated Bill Clinton. Wow. What a guy. <laughs> the mom she and the general like that one. They're chuckling in the background <laughs> over here. Uh, so, I real. He said, general says it's real. It's real. 100%. Um, I mean, I don't know, Chris. What do you think happened? Uh, I mean, miracle you, surgeries. Miracle. Miracle surgeries. Yeah, that's awful, man. Like. People think they're actually going to get better. It's pretty messed up. Yeah. But that, I key, mean, that it, keyboard got stuck, though. So, we got a definite yeah. haunting going on. Uh, I mean, I think the fact that I think the fridge blowing up is just a matter of uh, electrical shit going on. Right. The computer, I can't. I don't know. And the printer, I don't know. But I don't know, man. I think it just happened. Yeah. Start yawning so much. <laughs> yeah, you pep up, man. I gotta pep up. I took a five hour right before we did the show. <laughs> uh, all right, the next one. Give us a background here, and then I have two clips. So I have like a little intro clip, and then I have another clip. Are we talking? I about really worked the... hard to this week. Are we talking about the hoax? Correct. Okay. So I recently I'll, I'll did go an back to us. This... I recently did an article on this on ParanormalWarehouse.com, if anybody was able to see it in the past day or two. So, a paranormal group uh, in... Uh, hold on a second. So far, so good. Net, Netwick, Ches, Cheshire. Uh, basically, they went into this house <laughs> to do an investigation. <laughs> yeah. And... what they, they find? what they find? They're, they're a YouTube group called Proving Demons. And they basically went in there and set up a whole scene where they put a bone, uh, quote unquote, what the police said were was supposed to be a human bone in the wall, found it. Yeah. And they said a ghost told them to go through the wall to find this bone that somebody was buried there. 
Then they called the police during the investigation. Right? Right. I actually watched the video. They called the police during the investigation and said, hey, we were at this abandoned house. We found a human bone. Police show up and it ends up being that they, the paranormal group actually put the bone there. And now they're trying to investigate where this bone came from, from the paranormal group. Was it a human bone? Well, they said initially the reports, the analyst was that it was a human bone, but now it sounds like it's not. I mean, what would it be, like a femur? I don't know. Let me show these things here. Let me go back. <clears throat> All right, so this is like just them, and they capture a, capture a, do a door shutting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so door shuts. Alright, so this is, this is these guys. Now I'm going to show you the moment when uh, when they find the boat and it's like sitting there in this wall. Yo, they really chip away at that wall, dude. Like, if you, sh if you see from the beginning, it's just a uh, it's just like a tiny hole or a... Well, what they said was originally, the so the ghost told them that right. there's somebody buried in that wall, and they found like a Santa doll or something in the wall, and then they kept chipping away at it, and there was a bone. Right, well, here it is. Here's the bone. <laughs> Alright, so he freaks out. Oh, my goodness! Yeah, and then he's like, oh, this is like, what don't touch anything, it's a crime don't, scene now. Don't touch that... Yeah, this so, is not I a mean, crime scene. It's a pretty big-ass yeah. bone. Yeah, that's a huge bone. What's that? I don't know. Is that an arm? But, uh, uh, so wait, hold on. Do they know that they planted the bone? Yeah, so the police came, and I guess they questioned them or whatever, and basically they found out that this was a huge hoax. So basically they were doing this for views and whatever else. Oh, you're ahead of yourself there. No, okay. it's from last week. I didn't put it on loop. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry, okay? All right, here it is. Yes. So, but the police came <laughs> in, and you want to know what the the police said to them? The police came in and said that um, they were all, after the incident, they were all given strong words of advice. So they didn't get arrested yeah. for basically, basically faking a crime scene. It's pretty bad. It's pretty dumb to, like, go that far. They could have just said, and like, gave, oh, we called the police. Them, they gave them strong words of advice. Like, don't do drugs? Yeah, like, don't do this again? What? Um, yeah, that's lame. That's yeah, pretty gener generous. But wait, so now they're investigating where they got the bone from? Yeah, because apparently, I, I mean, it says that the original analyst, the initial analyst showed it was a possibly human. It was possibly human. Police discovered that the bone had been placed there as a hoax and are establishing where the bone originally came from. Huh. So, the way I read it was the group put the bone there. Right. Now, now, I don't know how the police would know if the bone was placed there as a hoax beforehand. Uh, I don't you know, know what I'm saying? I guess we'll have to see how... Uh... But, the, but the ghost told them to look in the wall. Right. I, I know. We all know what happened. <laughs> now now I want to know where they got the bone from. Yeah, I don't know, man. Hey, Chris, you know what? I don't know. I don't know either. So, uh, yeah. You want to go to the last article, or do you want to do paranormal topic? What's, uh, what's the last article? Uh, the... Oh, the things. Creepy Santa Claus alternatives around the world. All right, give me three. Give me three. All right. I have Santa Krampus up. I have Krampus up. Okay. So, I mean, pretty much number one is Krampus from Germany, Hungary, and Austria. And then there's Bafana. Hold on, let's see. I don't know what I have. Is this her? From Italy, yeah. Oh, she looks like kind of cool. She's got toys and stuff. She's also known as a Christmas witch was an ordinary woman who was driven but mad by the sudden death of her son. Yeah. That's sad. Uh, hold on, I gotta agree to the terms so I can see the whole article. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, in 
her grief, she heard about the birth of Jesus and decided to present him with gifts. Delighted by her thoughtfulness, Jesus made her the mother of all children in Italy. Oh, that's nice. To, to this day, many children receive Christmas presents from Bafana. Yet there's a creepy element to the story. She swapped her sled for a broom, and instead of keeping a list of bad kids, she whacks them over the head with her broom. So, well, they deserve it. Do you think in Italy there's just there's people that dress up like Bafana and just hit kids in the head with brooms? Like, ha does it happen? One hundred percent. I mean, I it makes sense. Imagine the horror, being a little kid, and this witch comes in your room and just is gonna give you a good old wallop. If you're naughty, yeah. Right, so she could be cool. <laughs> you're rolling the you're rolling the dice on what you want here. All right, what else? Uh, do you have? Father Christmas from England. This guy. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, he is, according to the article, he is the funniest and most honest when it comes to what goes on in the holidays, dating back to Anglo Saxon times. Father Christmas is often portrayed as a very, uh, I can't, I don't know, guy uh, who loves to drink and eat at parties. Jovial. I don't know. So pretty much, <laughs> it's you on Christmas. That's pretty. That's pretty accurate. Me on <laughs> me on Christmas. Yeah, if I could be it. if I could be that guy, I, you know, I'd be pretty happy about it. Time. Just drinks and eat. That's all we do. Yeah, it sounds like the. It's, what else are you gonna do? That's just... what else are you gonna do? Shit. All right, that guy's cool. Uh, what else? Give me one more. Let's see what I have. Uh oh. Uh, oh, good. I have this lady who's <laughs> eating a baby. <laughs> Who is this? Hold on, I was, I accidentally hit my power button here. Ah, uh, you're still here though. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll just keep going. This is fun. Uh, Grela the Yule Lads from Iceland. I'm going to try to get my computer up. While I, I have it. a lady who's eating a baby, is what I have up right now. Yep, that's it. This killer... Uh-oh. He's out, I think. Let's try to get Chris back. Let's try to get Chris back. Huh. I'm disconnecting. I'm going to run. This is all we're going to do. I'm going to talk through the process of getting Chris back. And, uh, that's it. I'm calling him right now. Bless you. Chris is uh Chris hit the power button and I'm just alone. <laughs> so alright, whatever. I'm gonna start the new segment alone. I don't care. Let's go. This is this is what a professional does. Um Okay. Here we go. So, paranormal polls. We did some polls. Check out this music. Alright, so what we do is Chris puts up a poll. And then we see what people want. So what we have up here is we had, do you, what do you think is probably more real? EVPs or orbs? Now, Chris put this up. I thought it was a pretty clear-cut answer. But I was right. It was. So people said 86% of EVP. Nope. That's not what they said. They said 86% of them. Uh, oh, he's back. I uh, thought that they were more legit and the orbs were not. I'm doing a bad job of being alone here. I'm going to try Chris again. Here he is. You hear me? Do you, do you hear me? Yeah, man. What happened with my... my... Oh, man. Now this isn't working. Jesus. Yeah, this is rough. At least your picture's up here. Uh, hold on a second. I started to do the new segment and was just really bad at it. Like, horrible. Should not do that alone. So what's going on over there? Walk me through. So what happened was, everybody, don't drink in Skype. Because I uh, accidentally hit the 
button for my computer to turn the screen off on the side with my glass. That's pretty good. Uh, that is pretty good. This is pretty bad. So, so I did the polls, Chris. Yeah. And it was a clear cut, eighty six percent to fourteen. What did you expect when you put this poll up? I mean, I expected the EVP to win. Right, that's what I said. I feel like more than enough people, more than enough people know. Orbs are kind of uh, BS. Yeah. So I expected that, and that's why I put it up there. I kind of wanted to see what the comments were on that, though. I mean, you do have the handful of people that believe... Uh, my video should be up and running, by the way. Uh, believe... It's not. <laughs> why is this camera not working? It's not. It's not at all. I hate everything. Everything. Um, I mean, let's just go through. So, I, uh, I, I just think EVPs are more so, more evidence, especially if you get a Class A EVP. Um, orbs, like we always say, are, are mostly dust and moisture in the air, especially if you're outside investigating. Right. Um, but I just wanted to see what the majority said, because if a majority said, uh, look at that picture, Jesus. Uh, you see it? You see this? I do. How how official is that? Is that yeah, I'm back. I'm oh back. my God almighty, he's back. Woo! I was at a real low point in the show. I hit a real <laughs> low point. You carried it, man. You there carried was, it. There was a piece of me that's like, ah, I gotta shut this down. <laughs> you did a great job. You're carrying it. Uh, well, welcome back. Well, 86 to 14. Well, I'm glad the majority of people in the paranormal community that follow us believe the same. Right. Uh, yeah, pretty clear cut. I wanted to read some comments that people left regarding the poll, if that's all right. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so I'm just going to pick it willy-nilly here. Uh... I'm going to try not to... Trisha, Trisha Ware says, Orbs are almost always dust, in my opinion. I mean, I think that they're just so numerous in pictures because it is such, like, a thing that happens, you know? For sure, dust. Uh, both equally important in their own special way, says Julie Lowe. This guy's cool. I disagree. A.W. Plastering says, Check out Huff Paranormal for the best EVP. <laughs> You know what, A.W.? I will. Uh, let's see what else here. Karen says EVP for sure are so clear, uh, and that is the most evidence you could ask for. I can't read either. I'm like slightly embarrassed. All right, so... <laughs> all right, Ariana, holding up. I still say orbs. Like, whenever I videotape my son and I see one, I sometimes tell them to show again, and they do. I think it's just because there's dust in the air, you know? Yeah, if you watch... I don't know how many people watching right now actually watch our live cams in a couple of the haunted locations like 1904 Church and, and uh, Malvern Manor and stuff like that. Now, right. These are older places. Um, you have drafts happening. You have moisture in the air. You have dust. Definitely dust. And you constantly see, quote-unquote, orbs flying through. Right. But you can't, given, yes, a lot of people do think that they are uh, intelligent orbs where they it looks like they're flying across the screen or going into the wall or whatever else. But right. it's really just dust in the air. Like, if I took a picture right now, like, I bet you we could get some, t or go outside and take a picture. You, could, I bet you 100% where I'm going to get a bunch of orbs. Right. I mean, if you just, like, fluff a pillow you'll get them because it, like, comes off of the pillow. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, and some of the EVP that I've heard are, are pretty ridiculous. It's the one thing that still gets me when you get a the good EVP? one of those. Yeah, sometimes you get one and it's, like, super creepy and kind of, like... Yeah, I mean, we've gotten a couple that we couldn't explain, like, uh, at Eastern State and then at Farnsworth. Like, we've gotten a couple that we were like, all right, 
But there were a couple that we went through and we were like, no, that was me talking or no, that was my arm hitting my jacket and it sounds like this. But like you have to be able to distinguish that from somebody talking, whether it's you or somebody in your group from somebody that's not there or you weren't talking. Because in Eastern, for example, in Eastern State Penitentiary, we're walking through, nobody's talking for a while and you just hear our footsteps. And at some point you just hear somebody whisper, fight me. Right. You know, like. And you heard it. And you heard it. Clear as day, you but heard it. Didn't you, didn't you hear it? Like, at the same... Well, you had the headphones on. I didn't hear that one when it happened. That was on one of the recorders. The one I heard was, we were all separated in the one cell block, and I heard, help me. But I right. heard that in my headphones as it happened. Yeah, it's weird, like... But the thing is, in and in that sense, in that example, hearing it in my headphones makes you even more aware of whether it was you saying it, or... Steve with us saying sure. it, or something else. You can, like, else. recall because the I moment. Know your voice, I know your voices, I know your tone. This was, and, and when uh, while I'm doing it and hearing it, I was like, there is no, what the, what was that? Because there was no way it was any of you. Now, I stopped and asked all of you. Right. You did. But there was no way I, I, I would have put money down, there was no way it was any of you that said that. Right. Because of yeah, the way I, don't know. I the way I heard it. I mean, we talked about it for a long time too, trying to figure it out because it was exciting. Remember, we were like tired. We got beers at that that bar. Yeah, we, we ordered pizza. Ordered pizza, Philly, and then we we sat in the hotel room. I hooked the camera up to the the TV in the hotel room. Yeah, that was exciting. No, I mean that was at that time for us. It was the beginning of Paranormal Warehouse, and right. that was the the best thing we've ever gotten. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. So, yeah, EVP are still cool, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but Orb? I mean, it's just... It's just... We just gotta move past that. Like, you know, they're just so frequent, you know? Like, it just happens. I just want people to do the what you just said. Take a picture, hit the pillow, take a picture, and see how many orbs you get. Pillow test. Hashtag do the pillow, pillow test. Do the pillow test. I'll do the pillow test. Do the pillow test and record it, and then we'll post it. Okay. Done. <laughs> done and done. Uh, so, this background is going to be very much so updated next time. I'm very excited. I hope you're excited as well. So excited. Right? All right. Paranormal trash? Have... Well, do you want to go into the paranormal topic, or? Um. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have a graphic for paranormal topic. I just have us. All right. Well, the paranormal topic this week is it deals with one of the news articles we talked about earlier and uh, basically faking evidence. Right. So what's your stance on paranormal groups that are on YouTube and everything else actually faking evidence for views and clicks and whatever else? Like, here, this is, this is the real... All right, real deal me right now. <clears throat> so it's for money, you know, like to become popular and to, uh, like, be seen, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that's it. <laughs> great, great, <laughs> great job. That's it. You know, it's not right. I don't think you should, but I get it. Like, if you – all right, let's 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 see through our lens, okay? So people who are in this circle that are that would be watching this – or like, you know, take it sort of seriously, in a way. Yeah. It, there are people that don't give a shit, you know? Right. So, for them to be like, oh, this could make us some money, whatever, and they start doing it, you know, it's not a big deal to them. Right. And I think it, it goes further nowadays, too. I feel like there are a lot of, uh, locations that fake stuff to have oh the shit they have the opportunity for shows to come now I'm not saying all locations I'm just saying in general I think there are people out there that um, claim that their house or some building that they own is haunted when it really isn't and they have these shows come in and now at the same time, I don't think all the shows are exactly 100% real either, and I think we could, for the most part, all agree on that. Um, 
Uh, and I just feel like it's a money making scheme. So I, like this group that we just talked about on YouTube that did that planted the bone. What were they looking for? Now, mind you, they already had seventy five thousand followers on YouTube. Right, probably because they're doing that shit. And then they fake this, call the cops, which I don't know how you thought you were going to get away with that, first of all. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be like, okay, we're going to actually well, treat this like a like, crime scene. Why are you in this abandoned house anyway? Right. right. So, I mean, it just, it comes down to, yes, it comes down to money making and uh, views and clicks and everything else. Uh and it just it it kind of hinders the whole paranormal community in the sense that now everybody's frowned upon in the sense that these groups are going to go into locations and people right away are going to think, you know, either you're faking evidence for the same reason, right, or paranormal groups are going to go into locations and think that these places are faking it just to make money, right. Yeah, I think these people just don't care. You know, they don't they don't see the big deal, and they're like, whatever, they're just doing it. Right. And like Sucks. my whole my whole thing when it comes to locations is that just because a place is abandoned and broken down doesn't mean it's haunted. Right. Hey and Chris, I, I just want to let you know. I'm going to uh I'm gonna disappear for a second because I have to blow my nose. So continue with your thought. I just wanna let you know. Alright, see ya. Anyway, so while Mike blows his nose, uh I think it comes down to both sides. So the people that own these abandoned buildings are basically trying to make money off of them instead of selling them and having groups come in and <clears throat> and say that they're haunted. Uh, and for the most part, I think a lot of groups, too, come in and then fake evidence. So it's, it's just a vicious cycle of we're trying to make money, you're trying to make money, glad your nose was blown. and It was bad. Real, real clogged up. Yeah, I'm re really nasally. I have a sinus okay. infection. Yo, run a hot bath, right? Run a hot bath, right? And drink some bourbon or whiskey or scotch straight in the bathtub while it's steaming hot. That's how. That's a clear cure for sinus infections. Like, it, it'll all. You know, it'll soak out of your pores all the toxins. What now? You <laughs> what? All right, sinus. All right. Well, whatever. I'll do it. Sick. I'll do it. It's fine. How about this? No. It I'll do fine. this. I'm gonna do it, and I'm then I'll, I'll report on my my healing factor, my All right. healing abilities. All right. All right. That's a that's a Stephen remedy right there. Steve Cheese. You, you've done it, and you you feel like applying that method? No, I've never done it. <laughs> I've never done it, but I told people to do it. They said it worked. All right. Whatever. Uh, okay, so, uh, uh, David said in Facebook, the groups posting garbage evidence are partially to blame for the places becoming quote unquote haunted. 100% agree. Sure. Sure. I mean, once it starts, it like keeps going, you know what I mean? It's a vicious cycle. It's, and that, I think that's part of the problem. I think so too. Chris, I think so too. <laughs> I think I mean, so that, too. That's but, uh, part of the problem. Yeah. Cause they're like, we're going to benefit. You're going to benefit. Well, think about think Whatever. about when, think about when we first started Paranormal Warehouse. Right. Hold how on. Many let me go back in time. How many locations, like off the top of your head right now, did you remember that you were like, "Oh, we believe this place is haunted. We believe this place is haunted." Just from what we saw, and either, and I I know everybody's gonna yell at us, but either from TV, from watching other paranormal groups go, or just research alone. Right. It was. It wasn't that many. But now, if you go online or watch these shows, every other place is haunted. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Probably a little bit of both. You don't now, like, is it because people are seeing the benefit and they're, yes. they're purchasing these, these potentially haunted places? Like, maybe, like, neighborhood legends, in a way? Well... Well, think about it. If you could go, or do you to think they're just a, making it up? Well, I, well, I think they're. I think it's a little bit of both. I, I think if you go, say, you go to small town USA, right? Right. And you find a place that has a bunch of history to it, right? But you could get it for cheap because it's small town USA, whatever. 
and you know the market for these TV shows coming in or paranormal groups coming in, right? Wouldn't you? And you have the money to buy it. You buy it, and now instead of think about the people that buy houses and stuff and do Airbnb and then just rent it out, it's the same concept. So what you're doing is you're you're renting out this place or buying this place, and you're basically renting it out to these paranormal groups or TV shows to come in and do the same thing. And you you have no and these people ninety percent of the time probably have no clue if it's haunted or not, but they're like, you know what? It's an old building. It has a lot of history to it. We're gonna we're gonna say it's haunted. Right. I mean, I bet that happens sometimes. It sucks. So, I mean, it, and it's a cycle because the groups come in and they believe it's haunted, and then right. any little any little piece of evidence they get, whether real, fake, or fake by mistake, they're they're claiming it's real, and they're claiming like orbs, and they're claiming it's real. <laughs> And it ends up being that now, now somebody else wants to go investigate there, and right. the, the the show looks into it. Oh, this place has a lot of history. We're going to say it's haunted. We're going to we're going to film there. Right. Yo, the baby's wilding out right now. David David made a good term. Paratainment. 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 Hashtag. Copyright. <laughs> All right. I guess it happens to everything, no? Hundred percent. It's just I just feel like people should be more aware. Right. So, all right. On that note, let's get into some paranormal trash. Right. Right. All right. So, paranormal trash. I I only got two. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I only got two. Uh, Do we have extra real or fake video tonight? No. No, we don't. We started a little early. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this first one here. This is pretty long, so we can chill. So, it's... We'll, we'll, I'm going to play a game. No. Why is this the video? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. Alright, good. So, we'll talk, we'll talk through this experience. Okay. So, what do you think is going to happen in this video? Just, uh, just run it down. There'll be an ending. The the here, I'll move my guy. The lights are gonna go off in the elevator. Somebody's gonna appear in the elevator. Okay. So these guys are walking around. They're waiting for the elevator. I'll tell you right now. You only have to worry about the elevator room. All right. So Don't say walk right. in. Right. Bottom, bottom right. Uh, I'll tell you this. You're you're on the right track. Okay. Something okay. does appear in the in the room. All right. Can you guess what it is? Uh, demon girl from like the ring. Incorrect. Damn. Incorrect. I'll give you two more guesses. Two more guesses. I don't know. General says a raccoon. Incorrect. Incorrect. Good guesses though. Mom, she said an old elevator. Oh, it's a good one. It is not. It is not correct though. Okay. That's not correct. So they're going to leave in a second, and then we will be shocked to see, oh, it's a creepy old lady. Oh. It's a creepy old lady. That's kind of fucked up. You know? He just walked away, and she was there. So that's that. Would you like to see the other one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right, so this guy. I'm going to let it play through, something and then we'll talk house. about it. There's audio involved. Okay. Well, I can't hear the audio. All right, so he's walking out there. And he says he hears a kid crying, I believe, and then you see it. In the corner, what looks like the figure of a child. Right there. Right there. And then he goes back in. Okay. And he's like, oh, did you see that? Or something like and that. And then goes back for a second. And then he look. goes to check it out again. No sense of, like, urgency whatsoever. So standing right in front of him. Yeah! There it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> but, uh, that... That's that, so... I mean, if that was real, that's creepy as fuck. Dude, it's just, it's funny because of the 
like performance that's being put on. Yeah. He like walks out and he's like, I think I've heard something out here. Looks, stares at it for a good solid couple of seconds. If that guy opened the door and that thing was then standing, he would have shut that door immediately. I don't even think he would have shut the door. I think he would have just shit his pants and ran. Well, he's in his apartment, I think. Oh, I think he's trapped. Like he's trapped. Yo, well, you could run out of your apartment. But then you'd run into her. Kate, Kate said this actually scared the crap out of me when she's standing in the hallway. Screw that. Yeah, it's scary. You know? But, uh... I mean, that's actually one of the better paranormal trashes. It was entertaining. But not really, dude. You didn't hear it. He stares at this thing for so long. Oh, better check again. I mean, e even after seeing this, door shut and locked forever. Are you sure this, this is an apartment? It looks like empty. I don't know. I just assumed. Oh. It does look pretty empty. Maybe he's a minimalist. <laughs> what is this? Is this a doll? What is this? Actually, it looks like it could be a doll. I think it's definitely a doll. Damn. Yeah, pretty fun, right? That was good. Lori said his camera hand didn't even shake. Oh, Lori! Good call. Yeah, there's no reaction. Well, what, 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 what's the? I can't hear the sound, everybody. But what's the sound when he sees her standing there? He's just like, Ugh! like, not. He seemed startled. I guess. Like, would you zoom in on this thing? You know. George says. George says, if it was real, would grab a shotgun. I, I, you got to do something instead of staring Kate, at it. Kate says it's giving me paranormal activity vibes. Yeah, it definitely has that feel. That's cool. I want to do that to somebody. I want to do that to you. What was the best parent of like best scariest prank you ever pulled on somebody? Scary you prank? Have, yeah, you have anything? Uh, we put this up on paranormalwarehouse.com Facebook and uh, nobody comments. <laughs> We, I don't know. We just did stupid pranks. I don't think we did scary pranks. Did you do a scary prank? I don't remember ever doing a scary prank. I mean, I, I really enjoy when my wife walks in and then I kind of like scurry somewhere. Like in the kitchen, kind of like hide. And then she knows that I'm going to scare her and I enjoy that, that thrill. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I do that frequently, but I haven't like planned out a really scary plan such as that well does anybody in facebook have a scary prank they pulled on somebody we uh asked this earlier we didn't really get much back hold on let's see what people responded i'm gonna go look all right i don't think we got anything to be honest with you you put up a gif i did well crickets chirping all right so mark said he tossed a dummy grenade at his wife <laughs> oh. oh okay <laughs> I think that's kind of fucked up, but all right. That is amazing. Uh, David said, I'll have to send you the video of when I scared Josh Hurd. All right. Oh, please do. Please do. There's a there's a conversation in... So it's like Mark talks about the dummy grenade, and then Neil like tags his friend, and his friend said, I'll never forget. And then Neil wrote, Brang! Ooh! And we will never know. What, what, actually, what actually took place. But it, it seems exciting. Uh, Debbie said she hid in a box at work. That's a good one. A good I'm trying one. to think. I know, That's I don't like a step, you know, it. jumping out of a box is a, as long as you set it up good, you're going to, you're going to nail it every time. Uh, Lori said she put crime scene tape, uh, inside empty cubicle at work. Nice. That's clever. Do you want to hear about a prank that I did do? Yeah, man, that's a conversation. So it's not a spooky prank. We uh, was at school, and the room next to us, we got a bunch of crickets from the pet store and, like, released them. 
into their room. And we heard nothing. This is the beginning of the year. We heard nothing. But later on, we're having a meeting with, like, the ground floor. And they're this is, like, the end of the year, dude. They're like, uh. we can't get rid of these crickets. They're, like, reproducing. <laughs> <laughs> months and months later. Um, so that was my, that's my claim to fame right there. <laughs> the mom, she said, you're a sick fuck. <laughs> Younger. Younger. Uh, Kate said my mom watched the first horror... Oh, man, I just lost it. Kate said my mom watched the first Amityville horror movie for the first time, and after she watched it, I went outside, climbed the stepladder, and put on a pig mask with red glowing eyes and waited... Uh, lost it. Can't get it. <laughs> Where could it go? I'm going to assume she waited there and then scared her mom with the pig mask. Uh, with red glowing eyes and waited until she went to the kitchen for a glass of water, it definitely worked. Nice. I'm glad that we're all, we're all bad people. You know, uh, like in Charlotte the chat. Said someone, Charlotte said someone spilled a pot of coffee in the hallway and I left it, and it left a bad stain. Two days later, I made a chalk drawing around it with masking tape before everyone got there. It wasn't spooky, but it was funny. Good one. So... All right. Well, what do we got? Five minutes left? Uh, we could call it a night, right? Right. We should take people's prank ideas, since they were all fantastic tonight, and, you know, go and try them out in your place of work and see how it works out for you, you know? Yeah. Let us know. No, because if you get fired, it's not on us. I'm not... Listen, you got to know the vibe. You got to know the vibe if it's cool. You know? Uh, these uh, days... But let us know. Let us know. These days, the vibe's never cool. Ooh. Yeah, the audio just went nuts. All right, well. They can't? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. for Thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight for Real or Fake Live. We will be back live next week, Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Check out ParanormalWarehouse.com for new paranormal articles and YouTube for our live camp daily from haunted locations. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in, and we will see you next week. Have a good night. <laughs>